Alana Glover, School Manager at the Washington School of Ballet. At the Washington School of Ballet, we like our students to look nice and neat. Part of that is having a nice, neat bun. So I'm here today to help you do the perfect bun the way we do it at the Washington School of Ballet. We have Carmen joining us today because uh, her hair is a little bit more of a challenge. It's shorter. So, you know, the question is, with Peyton, we had the long, lovely hair. That was a little bit easier. You got the basic idea. Carmen's going to be a little more of a challenge. Carmen's brought some nice products today. She's got, um, Scott, if you could look at this a little bit. She's got her nice hair tie. She's got, I love these clips because they, they really work to hold uh, the hair up. She's got strong hairpins and she's got some good um, weaker hairpins and then a couple of bobby pins that I probably won't need. And then she's got a hair net because she's got a little bit of layering and you'll see just why that's going to be so helpful. So let's start first brushing up Carmen's hair. I like to put the elastic around my wrist because then it's just there and it's an easy grab. And we're going to brush her hair up. Um, we do like the buns at the top of the back of the head so it doesn't get in their way for exercises and it elongates their neck. Now Carmen's hair is a little bit damp which is wonderful. If you have a hard time with your child's hair, um, go ahead and keep a, a spray bottle of water and that'll just help it all stay together. You won't need that much product. With littler children after class, who wants to be washing every single night out all of that hair product? Bigger girls can do it themselves, but let's face it, parents don't have that kind of time every night. So we've brushed it. We're going to come back like this. You can see she's got the littler hairs hanging down there, but that's not a problem. We're going to use the clips for that. So go ahead and just focus on the bun itself. You can see she's going to have a lot of layers. And again, we want to make sure this is as tight as possible. That is perfect. Very cute ponytail, but what a challenge. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our net ready to go. You can buy these almost anywhere um, in the hair color. Let's see if I can get hers untangled a little bit. Usually when they come in the envelope, they're all nice and neat. Okay, there it goes, great. Carmen, would you hold this for me please? Thank you, you can be my helper. So we're gonna do the same ideas with Peyton. We're just gonna take the bun around and shape it. And I'm not gonna get frustrated with all that sticking out because I know I'm gonna use the net around this. Thank you. And we take the net and we go around. You just pull it tight and you're going to loop it around a couple of times because their buns are smaller. And once you do that, just be careful not to take the excess and wrap it around and round and round so that it's sitting way off the top of her head. Because we like it to be a little bit flatter to the head. So now what we can do is we can take these nice hairpins and it's the same thing. You go from here around that bunching of the hairpin, of the hair net, sorry. And back around this way. And around. There we go. Almost there. One more. Great. Now that's a nice, neat bun. So with her, we might want to do a little bit of um, gel or something here if there's a special occasion. Now, what we do when we have so much hair in the back, if you try spraying it with too much product or hairspray, it gets spiky and it makes the hair heavier and then it just sticks out like porcupine spines. So sometimes the easiest thing to do with hair when you have a lot of it like this is to bunch it into two groups and twist it so that it kind of all sticks together and you're picking up the little odds and ends. And then you take this nice hair clip like this and you just snap it into place. Same thing over here. Get it nice and tight. You can do that on the side of the head with bangs too. You can take a nice tight twist and get it in place. There we go. Now let's see. 
Oh, very nice. A little bit underneath the hair, so we'll put one more hair clip in. Another one over here. Just make sure that when she's jumping up and down in class, it's all set. And she's great. Smile at the camera. Look at Carmen. She looks fabulous.